Ow. Ah. What's up, machine freaks? I hope everybody's feeling so fly oh my, it's a little bit scary. I wanna thank you guys for tuning in to today's vlog. Today is gonna be a doozy. And what I mean by that is we're not working on this piece of junk, the Kodiak. Th this thing, man, this thing's been a, an absolute trip. And it smells like something's like, kinda smells like melted plastic. I hope something's not burning as we speak, but I don't see any smoke. It's just got a weird aroma in the air. It's not a good aroma, it's not love, it's not, it's not magic. It's burnt plastic. So 3D Machines, if you're not gonna work on the Kodiak today, what are you gonna work on? Hopefully the BMW. I've had its battery charging while it sat, and she's all ready to rock and roll. It's a never start though. Not my favorite brand. I never use these adjustable wrenches. I always use the right size, but for some reason my 13 millimeter is gone. I see the 14. Organization is key. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. You've been there and done that. You, you completely understand. And if you don't understand, well, you're too perfect. I'm not a perfect individual. I hit that way too hard. I'm gonna try to keep this one clean. So I'm gonna wear the gray one when I'm like working really hard and then when I'm not working as hard I'm gonna wear the red one. I don't want to sound like I don't want to work when I wear the red one or I want to work when I'm wearing the gray one. Let's just say not as dirty. That, that's appropriate. That's better. This is going to be a definite cold start. It has the BMW has not ran in a while. I have yet to give this thing attention for a very long time. So I hope it even starts. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Clutch in, key on, and it's freezing out. Lights, camera, action. Wow. Holy smokes, it actually started really well. My inspection is actually up. That's what I wanted to speak about in this video. My inspection ran up November 30th. It's far from that date. Now I have to get it inspected. The only problem is, is it's like completely illegal to drive this thing right now. Like I can't even drive it up to the inspection place, I don't think. Maybe they have a, a rule that you can go there, but nowhere else. Input time! Time to put my input in. The BMW just knows me. My input is New York State. You should start doing like a two year inspection or like a three year inspection. Aw, my miles reset. I had the battery unplugged so long. I was up to like 300 miles too. Bwah. Starting back to zero. My check engine light's still on, unfortunately. My airbag light's on. I've let the car run for about two minutes now. Now I'm going to turn it off and plug this thing in. I wanna see why that check engine light's on. New York State will not allow me to have that check engine light on. Why New York State? Cause you're afraid that I have too much power? And too much speed? Or is it because my vehicle could potentially be dangerous and hazardous? Not mine, come on. Oh, we got four freaking codes. P0116, P0305, P1188, P0133. I can't believe I have four codes. I thought I would have like one or two at the most, but I have four. It's gonna be a lot of work and it's, it's freezing out here. My garage is a mess, I can't pull the car in. What a lot of you guys might not understand is these codes, just because you have a code, it doesn't mean like, hey, this is the fix. No, it could be 10 different things. And if you have 10 different things for each code, you got 40 things you could be looking at. Basically, when codes come up, it's just gonna take money out of your wallet and time out of your day. So here's the deal, yo. I could go in my office and check this thing out and see what could be the problem, or I could go to like an advanced auto parts or an auto zone or something of that nature and have them hook their machine up to my car and they usually have a much like more sophisticated tool that tells exactly what's going on. The only problem is, like I stated before, it's illegal for me to drive. The last time I got pulled over for this thing, for having an inspection overdue one day, one day, it's now been a very long time, 
It cost me $199. I think I might want to do a little bit of research first after hearing that $199. That was definitely a lesson. These are the things that could be wrong with it. As you can see, there's two, four, six, seven of them. Great, only three more to go. After doing a little bit of research on my second code, I think it's P0188. The forum said that this hose is notorious for giving that code. The only problem is, is it's under all of this garbage. I gotta take off like the entire intake. Instead of working out in the cold, I'm gonna move this pile and bring this car in here. Clean all this area out so at least the front portion of the vehicle can sit in here. And then instead of running my efficient heater, I'll run the nasty, well, I'll, I'll show you what heater I'm going to use. I have to get to it first though, and it's under here. If only I had a bigger shot, then I could make even bigger messes. As you can see, I switched to the gray shirt. I know I'm gonna get greasy. I'm not, I'm not getting that nice red shirt dirty just yet. I'm just gonna put these lug nuts on hand tight. Mail time. We got three pieces of mail. Let's check it out. Ow. Oh yeah, abracadabra. That's the magic word. <laughs> I got another BMW emblem. I find it kind of ironic that we're working on one right now. It says it's from Dominic. Thank you, Dominic, I really appreciate it. Sometimes I get your guys' stuff and I kind of forget I have it because I don't go out and buy it. And it sits on my shelf for a little bit, so I'm sorry if you don't see it in the video right away. That, that's why I do the fan mail, so that you at least see me opening it. And then if we stab it on something, or when we stab it on something, you can reminisce again. Cool, we're off to an awesome start. Shamwow! Box number two! First of all, I wanted to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. Thank you. I love watching your videos, keep them coming. I'm a police officer in Idaho. <coughs> I'm a police officer in Idaho and I love catching up on your videos when I have downtime. I noticed the Honda didn't have a bar pad. I thought this would be a good addition to the new valve job. Keep and Brad. <laughs> Try saying that one three times fast. Brad, thank you very much. This is awesome. I look forward to installing this as well. You guys are awesome. Number three. Big box for such a little thing. Hi 3D Machines, I love your videos. Keep up the good work. Sorry this is coming after Christmas. I figured this present would be useful. Have fun with it from Eric L. Pocket hunting knife sharpener for camping and outdoors. Well, thank you very much, Eric. Now my knife can't get dull. I'm gonna have to put these two together. I wanna just say thank you one more time. When did this go off? There we go. If you would like to send me something, my P.O. box is in the description. We can share the fame and have a little bit of fun, if you know what I'm talking about. even happier when she cranks up. I just want to add a little bit of this before I start it up. Diesel fuel supplement. That should be plenty enough. Good thing we're gonna have the door open because this stuff's gonna get really ripe. Ripe! Stinky.
It looks like I got three gallons of fuel over there. So we should have enough for this little small project. It's not gonna be small though, it's gonna be huge. This turbo diesel heater though is gonna think it's a small job. This thing's 75,000 BTUs. That's not huge. They make ones that are like 350,000. But hey, my little heater will do just fine in this situation. Here goes nothing. Uh oh. Fire it up. Immediate heat. I absolutely love that. Cherry red. And this is looking cherry as well. Now I just have to figure out how I can mount this so that this door sits nice and tight to the car's windshield. This garage is made for this thing. <laughs> I've already started to notice that it's getting harder to breathe. Don't forget you guys, Brap Life sweatshirts are available. The link is in the description. I'll also put it right at the top of the comment section. I got that first hose off my car. There are no cracks in it. That hose is beautiful. The forum said that there would be cracks or splits in this and that's what's causing that code. Well, in my situation, that's not the case. So now I have to go back online, check out what else it could possibly be, and then go from there. Yeah. 